Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Friday evening, August the 12th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race four this evening, folks. 7:13 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three year olds and up racing for an allowance tag of $32,000. Paired entry on top, number one, Bellagio, and the stable mate, number one, a winning drive, also on my list, number eight, Helping Hand, number seven, Coco Point, and number six, Accomplished and Proud of It. Number one, Bellagio, has hit the board in power and fashion in four of his last five, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Trainer Scott Lake will send him to the post tonight. It's noted on numerous occasions in the past, Mr. Lake is annually one of North America's leading trainers in term of win percentages. Stablemate number 1A winning drive has also hit the board in power and fashion in four of his respective last starts, winning in both his last outing as well as in his fifth race back. Number 8 helping hand, the pace profile leader, has won two straight, including a power run win his last time out. Race 4 summary, paired entry of number 1 Bellagio and the stable mate 1A winning drive, top my contenders list, which also includes number 8 helping hand, number 7 Coco point, and number 6 a cop, cop and proud of it, that's 1876 in the 4th from Penn Nat. Bonus long shots, Fairmont Park race 5, the 6 to 1 shot, number 10 spotlight on me. Takes the class drop of three units as the overall speed leader in this maiden field. Sprinting at or about tonight's distance of five furlongs on the dirt. Canterbury Park, race three. Entry number five, My Sweet Revenge. Five to one in the morning line. Qualifies as a power pony. Takes a nine level class drop. Nice overall speed for this seven and a half furlong test on the turf. So from Penn National on a Friday night. Need them for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.